I got back from Pierce Automotive, they did an alignment and everything checked out really, really good. Didn't take much adjustment, but uh, she's all aligned and ready to go. Now I'm gonna start putting the front together. And I just hung the front balance splitter, whatever you wanna call it. I uh, just temporarily got it. It's, it's still loose. Run a slideshow here uh, showing basically how this was made. It started with a flat piece of sheet metal and it's all custom made to fit the car. These are 09 fog lights that I incorporated into them. I did this little teardrop finish on the edge and anyway, the grill is custom made as well. I'm not sure if I'll paint that black or keep it aluminum. So, as I said, I'll run a, a slideshow and show you how that was put together. So next I'm going to make a panel to fill in the bottom here uh, before I finish putting the fenders and mounting that front balance. And basically what I want to do is cover, cover up to about here, which is the radiator support, cover all this in. And I want to make that as one piece, round it around and make it so from the front you won't notice that. And I just started with some sheet or with some uh, poster board. And I like to use poster board.
to make a template because it's a little thicker you can you can break it uh, to a certain degree you can roll it with the English roller um, you can put a crease in and it gives you an idea of how um, where you got to shrink or stretch or whatever so I'll mock up a piece I'll tape these together um, and I'll make another piece for the other side. I'm going to make a one-piece panel that goes around the entire perimeter and then across here. And so I believe it's going to have to come out and break and go up and, and roll right in here to meet this splitter so it looks right. So I've been working on this lower pan, uh, making a template out of poster board and I think I've kind of got it figured out what I want to do. I'm going to put a, a crease right along this edge here. It's about nine inches back roughly. I'm going to follow the contour of the, of the splitter. And as I come around here, I cut my poster board as, as it's getting, um, it's going to need shrunk. And you can see that fits up there really nice now, but it's overlapping. So I'm gonna have to shrink this portion here. I wanna put a, a, a slight curve in this and get this flat across the bottom here. And it will bolt to the radiator support. Go across flat, break it, and then just put a curve in it this way. I'll use the English wheel to, to roll this perimeter of it. So I think I got it kind of worked out right now. I'm going to pull my poster board down and set a piece of 22 gauge sheet metal on top here, the width of it. And I believe I'll line up with back here, get everything running square and then go from there. Okay, I got my piece marked and cut out. Shape of the splitter. I've got it a half inch long on the back to put a flange on. And now I'm going to run it through the bead roller. I've got a tipping die in there right now. And the plan is to just put a small crease right here, tip this up, and go around the perimeter and put a small crease in it. That'll stiffen that panel up. Right now it's really floppy. So, see how that works. Sorry I'm running the fan today because it is hot. This would be a little Thank you. 
run the English wheel around this radius next. So I want this to cup up a little bit, meet, meet the uh, split. There you go. I think you can see it. Tilt it up. So I'll run the English wheel in here. Okay, I've been working on this front uh, cover and got it shaped pretty close right now on and off the car several times. So I laid it on a uh, this table, which is an old door. It's a nice straight door that I've been using quite a bit on this project. And as you can see, it's, it's laying nice and flat. This area I want to lay flat. That goes under the radiator support back here and the radiator and so forth. I used uh, clamps on the two ends there. Then I laid a, a two by with a cinder block on there to hold it in place. And it's laying nice and flat, as I said. Here's where I uh, used my tipping die and rolled the perimeter here and tilted this up. And I need this to come up an inch and a half higher than this area to meet my splitter. So I've cut some blocks and I've just laid them around here. I needed to shrink this area because as you come up, it needs to come in some. And so I shrunk it with my, my shrinker and I couldn't get it quite high enough to where it would lay relaxed. So I ended up putting the relief cut here, the relief cut in the center, and then one on the opposite end at the same spot. As you can see, my relief cut, I've got a small gap here, the width of the saw blade. Then I'm overlapping here by just, oh, maybe an eighth inch. Same way at the center and the outside, or the other sides, identical. I tried using a shrinking disc in this area to see if I could pull it together. I just couldn't get it quite the way I wanted it, so I ended up just going with the relief cut. I'll weld these three joints once I get everything laying the way I'd like to have it. I'm going to try to get all this area here flowing nice and smooth so it doesn't have any ripples before I weld these together, and I'll probably just tack them. I'm planning on putting my uh, lights right here like I did on the undercarriage in the back and on the two sides. So I just cut a piece of plexiglass. First I laid out my my area that's going to have the light in it, which is right in front of the radiator. There's a spot right here that works good for having a box up here and it's not going to interfere with anything. So I've got that laid out for the LED. Now cut this out um, after I've um, got everything pretty much to shape. And then I cut a piece of plexiglass just now, heated it up, and, and I've got it laying down pretty close right now. Small gap right here, yeah, but otherwise it's following the contour of this, which is, it's twisted like that. I'll end up building a box off the top of this to house my LED lights. And that box will follow the contour here, but it'll be flat on top for my light. So it's kind of where I'm at right now. I've marked the back. I've kept everything a little bit long, including around this edge. So once I get this all shaped and fitting good, I'm gonna remark my splitter on the front then I think I'll cut this a half inch long and I'll roll lip upward. And that lip will give me a, somewhere to, to uh, shrink and stretch 
to just do the final tweaks on the outside edge of this. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Okay, so I just tacked the the relief cuts together, the three. And then I pulled it out and put it on my stand. As you can see, it's fitting really pretty good right now. Obviously, there's some small gaps here, but there's no tension on the panel at all, which is what you want. You want to relieve the tension so it doesn't oil can or, or start uh, flopping around on you. There's, it's all good. You see I've got it long back here past the radiator support and it's it's down just about a quarter inch right now so on the top up above you, you'll see where I marked my light my LED light and it's right in front of the um, radiator for the supercharger intercooler right there. So should have good clearance on everything. I'm going to go ahead and pull it down and um, start finishing it up, I guess. So eventually I'll mark on the inside this radius here, this edge. I'll mark it on the inside here so I can trim it up and and fit it getting closer so I trimmed off a little on the edge here about an inch so it's still hanging over here about an inch and because this is coming up at an angle I want to get close to the inside as I can but still leave enough for flange because uh, the farther you go this direction, the further it's got to go up. So you can see right now, that thing is really laying pretty, really close. Put, there's no tension on that at all. Those all go up real easy. Now over here, however, this seam is still a little tight. I, I cut that and tacked it one other one more time and it's still a little tight as you can see this goes down this goes down over here so when I push this up you can you can see there's tension on there see how that locks in and it it's still long right here so if I trim that out one more time I should be able to get this laying flat just like this is right here See that'll be a problem if I don't if I don't cut that out. Hopefully you can understand what I'm saying there. Shorten that up and should fix that. Okay, I've got it fitting. I've got magnets holding it in place. There's no tension at all on this. Except right here just a little bit yet so I'm gonna trim this out and go for it um, it's probably close enough see I can I can hold it up the magnet won't hold it in place it's got a little tension on it so then my light I roughly marked my light to make sure I wasn't gonna be able to see it from the front and I won't I think it'll look good right there so I'm gonna I mark the inside of my splitter on top. I'm going to cut this a half inch longer than that mark and I'm going to try to roll the edge. That's my starting point. I'm leaving everything long back here in case I need to trim it and push it forward a little bit more. So.